Some of the most popular platforms are DIY designers like Squarespace, Wix, and GoDaddy. If you're a little bit more skilled and experienced with coding and design, you're probably familiar with things like WordPress. As a photographer, I found that Pixie Set was the easiest and most practical for me. If you're not familiar with Pixie Set, they are primarily used as an online gallery to send clients digital images. It's what I've used since I started my career, and so when I realized that they also had a web builder specifically for photographers, it was a no-brainer for me. I quickly migrated my content from my previous website builder and had my current site up and running in a day. When you're choosing a template, think of the mood and the feeling that you wanna portray when people visit your page. It should look and feel like the types of weddings you shoot. So if you do more casual weddings, you may have a sans serif font with natural tones. If you shoot traditional weddings, serif fonts and bolder colors will be more appropriate. High-end wedding clients might expect a script font with some imagery and refined aesthetics. In addition to the weddings you shoot, you want your website to be a reflection of you. Because your personal brand plays a huge role in the experience couples will have when they work with you, it should all be authentic and cohesive. Another great function to focus on that almost all of these platforms offer is SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization. They each have their own way of allowing you to add keyword tags to images, which will help your website be more accessible in online searches. Another point to keep in mind is that many of your visitors are going to be viewing your website from a phone or a tablet. This is another reason why simplicity is important. If you spend a bunch of time and energy to create complex graphics and transitions, this will inevitably work against you when someone tries to view your site on a mobile device. 